So 2021, that's kind of what we're looking for. Giannis, LeBron, they will all be up. Even if he went to another organization, I would find it hard to believe that that organization could do a better job no. right, putting the team around him than the Bucks have. No. That said, if in 2021 there is a superstar in wait there and there's Giannis could come and he doesn't have rings, I could see him just because that's the nature of the NBA. Here's the truth about Giannis Antetokounmpo leaving the Bucks in the 2021 free agency. This video will break down exactly what we need to know about Giannis and the information that is currently out there with scenarios of what could happen and the teams that are currently interested, which obviously is subject to change by the 2021 free agency. But it is still really interesting to discuss. So let's get into it. Firstly, we have to break down the traits of Giannis Antetokounmpo as a person. We don't know everything, we don't know what his mindset will be, just as Kevin Durant, we thought he was a very loyal player, but then he went to join a team that he was up three games to one in the Western Conference Finals. So anything, and I mean anything is possible. But from what we know, this is a breakdown of Giannis Antetokounmpo. He has many traits known throughout the NBA and the NBA landscape. The name Giannis Antetokounmpo screams dedication and work ethic to be the best at his craft. One of the hardest working players with a Kobe-like mentality is what gets mentioned above most. He's a hard worker, and he's a guy that is always expanding and working on his game every second he gets. Kobe was his main idol and he trained with Kobe, but Kobe was also a one-team player. But Giannis is also a historian of the NBA, and he would know that even Kobe Bryant himself demanded a trade from the Los Angeles Lakers. Giannis of course isn't trying to copy Kobe, but it isn't uncommon for players who follow their idols to have similar careers. And a chance to be a one franchise player is something that a lot of players take pride in. And you'd have to assume for Giannis that is definitely the case. He said and I quote, as long as we are all on the same page and we are all focused on winning a championship, why not play for the Bucks for 20 years or 25 years? Obviously it sounds nice and it sounds really great for Bucks fans, but in reality, every player on a team says that. I won't leave. I'm not leaving. These things just happened, and if the team is incompetent and unable to build success around a star talent, in the end, most of the time, they end up leaving. So referring back to Kobe Bryant being a one-team player and Giannis idolizing Kobe, Giannis would know that even Kobe once demanded a trade from the Los Angeles Lakers until they added Pau Gasol, an all-star piece that Kobe could contend with. Is that the same thing that Giannis is expecting out of the Bucks? Or is Chris Middleton that current all-star player that Giannis can work with? We also know that Giannis values winning more than any individual accolade, same as Kobe, as he believes that winning is more valuable than anything else. Giannis will most likely have two MVPs by the end of the season, but could potentially have zero rings, which may lead him to look elsewhere come the 2021 free agency. And of course, when there's a star player on the free agency market, there's always noise and media speculation. And whilst Giannis has a year left on his contract and will enter the 2021 free agency, because of the situation that we're in and the NBA season being cancelled indefinitely, obviously the pandemic putting a halt to the future of the NBA, it makes the Giannis free agency case even more interesting. If there was ever a year that the Bucks were primed to win an NBA championship, it would be this season. They won't have to face Kawhi Leonard in the Eastern Conference, the 76ers don't look as damaging of a team compared to last season, and with the loss of Jimmy Butler, it has seemingly hurt them. And whilst the Celtics, Miami Heat, and Indiana Pacers have remained at the top of the Eastern Conference, they're solid teams, but the Bucks have clearly dominated this season. And after a terrific season last year, it seems as if they'll go into the playoffs with a high level of confidence. This was the year. This was the year for Giannis and the Bucks to win it all, or at least make the NBA Finals, which Giannis has failed to do throughout his first six years in the NBA. So now with the season in the balance, it's a bigger question. Can the Bucks still perform as they did throughout the regular season? Which teams will rise and which teams will fall when they return to the hardwood after all this time off? No one has the answers, but it's a looming question that remains. Will Giannis and the Bucks make the 2020 NBA Finals, or will the quarantine have an effect on the team and kill any momentum they had heading into the playoffs? Giannis has already stated, he will stay with the Bucks as long as they continue to improve and continue to build a championship roster that surrounds him. That is a known fact. 
But the only improvement that the Bucks can make off last season is making the NBA Finals, as they lost in the Eastern Conference Finals last season. So, the Bucks have to, and I emphasize, have to make the NBA Finals. Anything less will be a disappointment for the best record in the NBA to be eliminated in the conference finals in back-to-back -back years will greatly affect the Bucks' ability to keep Giannis in 2021, and here's why. Obviously, it's well known that small market teams rarely win NBA championships. The Bucks aren't a big market team, and we know this. It makes it extremely hard for them to go out in free agency and pair Giannis up with another star. In retrospect, you can somewhat compare this to the LeBron James Cavaliers of 2003 up until 2010 where he left in free agency. Most similar to the 2008-09 season where the Cavaliers lost in 6 games in the Eastern Conference Finals to the Orlando Magic. You can even compare this to the Paul George Indiana Pacers of 2013 who pushed the Miami Heat Big 3 to 6 games in the Eastern Conference Finals. Both LeBron James and Paul George are star players and yes, PG-13 in 2013 played like a star in the playoffs. And whilst both of these players were star players who had a decent supporting cast, they simply weren't good enough. Not because of how each individual player played, but simply because of their roster and their overall depth. Paul George obviously had a better team than LeBron James, Giannis probably has a better team than both of them combined, but he still doesn't have the most talented team in the NBA. Whilst Chris Middleton, Brook Lopez and Eric Bledsoe and of course the rest of the squad fills in pieces for the team, and it is a better overall team than the LeBron led Cavaliers, the same premise still remains. The Bucks simply cannot look to free agency to pair Giannis up with another star, because they are in a smaller market. I mean think about it right now. Comment right now which Bucks free agent signing was the best they've ever had. Exactly. You can barely think of one. Brook Lopez genuinely may be the best free agency signing the Bucks have ever had. And that says a lot about the Bucks and them being a small market team. But even if they wanted to, and even if they had the ability to get a free agent signing that was an all-star caliber player, they simply don't have the cap space. Chris Middleton is on a max contract, and the way that he's played this year, he deserves it, 100%. He's improved off last year, which the Bucks needed, and he's averaging 21 points on ridiculous 50-40-90 splits. But is he the second option that Giannis can work with? Is he Kobe's pal? Is he LeBron's Anthony Davis? Or Kawhi Leonard's Paul George? Can he still be this efficient when the playoffs hit and the pressure is on? There are questions surrounding Chris Middleton, and much of Giannis' 2021 decision actually depends on how Chris Middleton performs in this year's playoffs. Let's look at two scenarios. Of course, in both scenarios, Giannis performs exactly the way he's played all year and is an MVP candidate. Scenario 1. Chris Middleton does perform the way he's played this season and helps the Bucks make the finals. That would be a tick. Giannis will have seen some improvement and will likely try to keep contending with this current squad because he's seen that they can make the NBA Finals, which means he probably won't leave in the 2021 free agency. Scenario 2. Chris Middleton doesn't perform as well and the Bucks lose in the Eastern Conference Finals once again. This changes everything for the future of Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks as they cannot go out and sign anybody this free agency because of the contracts and because of the free agency market being a small market team. Of course, in reality, it's not as simple as that. It's not as simple as Chris Middleton playing well and the Bucks making the finals or Chris Middleton not performing and the Bucks not make the finals. I understand it's not as simple as that, but on a basic premise, it is generally your two key players that help carry the load and for this instance, that is Giannis and that is Chris Middleton. So what would be next? If the Bucks don't make the NBA Finals this season, that means the Bucks would have to look to trade. I mean, it's their only hope. Giannis would become a free agent next year and they can't go into a new season with a current roster that hasn't proven capable of making the NBA Finals, let alone winning a championship after being the best record in the NBA for two straight years and having a back-to-back -back MVP, most likely. And the thing about making a trade whilst a player is looming a free agency decision, we've seen it happen and we've seen it go both ways. Last year we saw the Toronto Raptors take a leap of faith and get Kawhi Leonard, and they saw results, they won an NBA championship. The 76ers took a leap of faith with Jimmy Butler, and they didn't get to the NBA Finals, but they did get close. And although they couldn't get there, at least they tried. And if the Bucks don't take that leap of faith, they might lose Giannis Antetokounmpo for nothing. And that is based on NBA history. 
LeBron James left the Cleveland Cavaliers, a small market team, after they were unable to get him help despite him leading the Cavaliers to NBA Finals and Conference Finals appearances. He left at age 25. Giannis is 25 this year. Anthony Davis demanded a trade and left the Pelicans, a small market team, at age 25. Paul George demanded a trade and left the Pacers, a small market team, at age 26. Kevin Durant left the Oklahoma City Thunder at age 27, which will be the same age as Giannis will be once he makes his 2021 free agency decision. It's rare that a player in today's NBA doesn't make a decision that allows them to win an NBA championship, and usually that means either pairing up with another star or joining a big market team that already has championship DNA or valuable pieces. So if you want my opinion, Giannis will leave the Bucks in the 2021 free agency, but only if they don't make the finals this year. If they make the finals, I believe he'll stay. It's the only sign of improvement the Bucks can make and give Giannis a reason to stay. So which teams look most likely to push for Giannis? Well, if we're being honest, when a talent like Giannis comes along, every team makes room for him. But just like LeBron's 2010 free agency decision or Kevin Durant's free agency decision of 2016, it seems as though it will be the same big market teams as usual. Currently, the Golden State Warriors have already shown interest and they'd have Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson, two of the game's greatest shooters. And that would work so well alongside Giannis Antetokounmpo for him to have spacing and drive inside all day long. And you can't double him because if you kick it out, you've got Steph and Klay. Obviously, the roster would have to change a little bit. Wiggins would not be on that roster. Draymond potentially may not be on that roster. But they do have assets to get Giannis in a sign and trade with a top five pick this year and potentially Andrew Wiggins plus future first round picks. But by the 2021 season, Steph will be 34 and Clay will be 32. Is that what Giannis wants? To join an older team that still has the potential to win championships but is reaching the end of their career? The next team is the Miami Heat. And of course, Pat Riley, and they've stated they want Giannis and are definitely pushing for him. Pat Riley was able to do it 10 years ago with a four-time MVP and the greatest player in the game right now in LeBron James. He knows what it takes to get big-time players. I mean, look at the history. Tim Hardaway, Alonzo Mourning, Shaquille O'Neal, Chris Bosh, and LeBron James. Bam Adebayo and Giannis Antetokounmpo share the same agent. They have mutual respect for one another. In the offseason, Giannis invited Bam to work out with him. The Heat have younger players with Bam being 22 and Tyler Hero being 20 alongside assets like Duncan Robinson, Kendrick Nunn, which means the window of opportunity is still high, but they still have the addition of veteran players like Jimmy Butler to help lead this team. In addition, Giannis is a representation of exactly how the Miami Heat culture is. He has a gym rat personality, which Bam and Jimmy Butler both possess. Of course, Miami is a nice destination, it has great weather, that will be a very strong pitch for Pat Riley to use for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And lastly, the Toronto Raptors have also shown interest, and they will continue to show interest to pair Pascal Siakam with Giannis Antetokounmpo, but who knows what will happen. Of course, there will be other teams that will make moves to open up cap space, so in the end, it will be a monumental decision for Giannis and the NBA landscape. Whether he leaves the Bucks or stays with the Bucks, everyone will tune in. Let me know what you believe will happen down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like to show your support. Feel free to subscribe and check out these two videos on the screen right now. And it's been your Bonding Smith. I am out. Peace.